Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be covering the upcoming tech demo that is going to be coming tomorrow. We are preparing to begin a series of tech demo tests. These tests will be short, buggy, and crashy. Transparently, anyone but the most hardened of game testers will find the first tests frustrating. The game is not finished. Nothing in the game is final. To anyone still thinking this is a beta or preview of the game, please let Zorbak whisper one gentle word in your ear. Stop. This game is not finished. These are early tests. I could really use your help setting the expectations correctly as well as debunking some myths and rumors about our game project. If you have joined us for a pre-alpha or a tech demo before, then you know exactly what to expect. If this is your first time, hold on to your helmets. The ultimate goal of AQ Worlds Infinity. A lot of players are still asking if they are going to be able to log into their existing characters and stuff. The answer is yes. We are working towards the ultimate goal of the new version of AQ Worlds that allows all players to log in on PC, Mac, Android, iPods, uh, or iPads, sorry, iPhones, and play the game with your existing character and items. You can wishlist this on Steam. I'll put a link to this design note in the description of this video. The first tech demo will be PC only. So any of you guys who are hoping to test on Android or whatever, you'll have to wait for that. I do have a video previously talking about that a little bit. Riths, myths and riths, riths and boomers. This game is taking forever to make. Well, this is 100% true. Number two, a YouTuber told me two years ago is enough. Uh, sorry, told me two years is enough to make a fully completed game. If they were building a new game, then yes, that's true. But converting the current game has been wildly complex. Making it so you can log in with your stuff has been the thing of nightmares. We love this game and are determined to make it work for you no matter how long it takes. Number three, the 2011 iPhone 3 video. Half wrong, half right. Over a decade ago, I posted a YouTube video of two AQ World monsters fighting on my iPhone 3. I was really excited about it. It was the first time we saw artwork from AQ Worlds running on a phone. Granted, just those two monsters maxed out the old phone's processor. Some players believe that the video was the start of this project. It wasn't. It was not technically possible to make this game until around 2019 when phone processors and memory was sufficient. That did not matter. My social media feed was still fed with, you've been working on this for over 12 years. Where is it? We have been working on this uh, we have not been working on this for 12 years, but it begs the question, when did this project start? We spent nearly six years in the background experimenting and trying different things that did not work. The earliest attempt at AQ Worlds Mobile was targeting the WebGL Unity C in 2017. We invested heavily in it and even hired an outside company. No luck. It was moved to the back burner because devices of that era were just too weak to run it. Not to mention the wall that we ran into when attempting to convert the game's huge amount content. We never gave up, but we did go back to focusing on the weekly releases of other games. It was Warlock that had the series of breakthroughs in 2020, making the game project possible again. Not bad considering he was building a launcher and other projects. Then Yoromi joined him to work on the server. With each little victory, it seemed more possible. We officially announced the project with the launch of this website in March of 2022. For the longest while, it's just been the two of them with art and animation help when needed. We built a working prototype and took it to PAX. Then the content team started forming under Renz. We now have J6, Ghost, and newly... Hmm? Newly Nolgath on, so new as in they've just recently brought in Nolgath on the art and animation. So that confirms it right there. Nolgath is now working on AQ Worlds Infinity for art and animation. Very cool. So what is it? Have we been working on it for two years, three, six, twelve? The current version has been in development for about three years. But you know, the more I think about it way back when I saw that video that I posted on YouTube, we all were thinking the same thing. How could we get AQ Worlds to run on a phone? The dream of making AQ Worlds playable on your phone and not in Puffin really did start in 2011. So perhaps we should really be saying you have been dreaming about this game since 2011 when it finally when is it finally going to become reality? So why a tech demo? AQ Worlds. You remember the first AQ Worlds test way back in 2008? 
no one had ever seen the game before. We unveiled a prototype of our experimental MMO created in Flash. The test was limited to upgraded players of Dragon Fable, MechQuest, and AQ. For the very first time, our players logged in, saw each other on the screen for the first time, could talk to each other for the first time, and then the servers crashed. I think that test lasted five minutes. The next day, we had an accidental database goof and lost all of the accounts. I do not remember what broke at the next test, but that was the point. We kept fixing things until the game stopped breaking. A few months later, in October of that year, the beta, which most people consider the full game, launched for everyone to play. The game was extremely primitive in those early days, but it grew exponentially. And if you guys remember way back when AQ Worlds came out, when he says that it was extremely primitive, it really was. There, it was very, very limited on what you could do, as well as what you had access to map-wise and content-wise. AQ3D. Were you around for AQ3D's tech demo? The MMO actually had two very different tech demos. The first one, where the game was called Legend of Lore, and it ran on your web browser. The first version of the game looked very different. Then, without warning, the technology we were building went Poof. The team was heartbroken. The project was discontinued. Up until that point, AE had only built games to run in your web browser. This was the event that changed all of it. We started rebuilding AQ3D as a cross-platform game. The tech demo for that project was weird, crazy, and laced with bugs, but one of my favorites. Back then, the tech demo was called AQ Worlds 3D, and to this day, some players still call it that. Again, it looked way different than the final game. I do not know which YouTubers are reading this, but it might be fun to do a then and now video showing the difference between those original tech demos and what they evolved into. In every instance, the art, animation, and gameplay improved. I could definitely do a then and now on those. The Infinity Tech Demo. This is uncharted territory. AQ World's Infinity introduces one horrifying difference between the tech demos we have done in the past. That is, you have nothing to compare it against. If Infinity is a remake of AQ World's, your expectation is that it's going to be exactly like AQ World's. Spoiler, it will not be. So, if you are a serious player of AQ Worlds who loves the game, you have a very important role. You need to tell the team what you like and what needs improvement. You must remember that this is not a finished game. Like the tech, tech demos that came before, radical changes happen at this stage. That is exactly why we have tech demos. And so this is what is being tested. Login, server selection, character load, movement, scrolling, moving between areas, chat, NPCs, exploration, town of Babylon, Dragon's Lair, and the dev monster arena. Inventory, item load, no items have animation. This must be done manually. Pets and helms are disabled, so you don't get to see your helms or your pets. And armors are also disabled. You can see your armor as in your class, but you can't see your other armor. That goes over top of your class. Class switching. Three base classes working only. So you got healer, warrior, and rogue. If you are not wearing one of those three working classes, warrior class will be loaded instead where you log in. So warrior is the default. Spider's test class can show off new features. There is a new class in the game that you'll be able to test out and that was built specifically for Infinity. Basic combat this is working. Monsters, quests, load times, memory usage, and server stability. So that's what's going to be in the testing. The tech demo tests will be short. Tests will be short. The team will be present and watching carefully during the test. We expect a lot of problems. Just as every tech demo we have done in the past, there will be an official post to go along with each test, which I will update in real time. The tech demo server will shut down after each test. New tests will be announced right here. 15th upholders are granted access to the tech demo. So those of you who are 15th upholders, you will have access to it. The players who upgraded in AQ Worlds and became the 15th upholders last October were promised access to the tech demos. We are upholding that promise and we are also aware that there are many players who are frustrated because they missed getting it and there is no other way to get into the tech demo. If you're feeling this way, please know that there will be more tests in the near future. Alpha, beta, and at some point we will need to do a stress test with as many people on as possible. At that point, the test should be moved to Steam where we can update the game more easily. Download versus Steam versus a, the App Store. So last week, Captain Rhubarb and 
Artex added a new page to the AQ World's account manager. That's the one I covered a video on already. It shows your eligibility for upcoming tasks. I'll put a link to that video in the top right corner. It will also be where you can download the tech demo version of the game for your PC and Android version when those become available. You will need to re-download the game as each version is released. Now this is temporary. In the future, we will be moving the PC Mac testing to Steam. Steam is nice because it updates the game for you automatically. What about Spider's new class? Now this is not exclusive to the tech demo. It needs to be rebuilt. Infinity uses a new combat system. It will allow us to do more creative things in the existing game. However, if you play the three base classes during the tech demo, it should feel roughly the same, probably a little rougher around the edges. Spider built a new class specifically to show off some of the things we can do in as in directional AOE attacks, transformations, etc. Ghosts went crazy on the animations. And if you guys probably already know, Ghost is really amazing when it comes to animations in all fairness he was told the sky was the limit turns out your computer's maximum video ram ram is the real limit we are aware that this class has issues it is scary using it in the tech demo this class will need to be rebuilt completely rebuilt for this reason spider and other members of the team have been letting everyone know that this class will go away after the tech demo Perhaps a more accurate way to state this is the broken memory hog version of the class will go away and we will try making it into something viable to be reintroduced in a future test. We just do not want anyone, sorry, we just do not anyone, uh, I think do not want anyone to think that this is some sort of ex exclusive. The class was built solely for the purpose of showing off some of the new things we can do in Infinity. The class uses skills that do not work with AQ Worlds. So if you have it and log into AQ Worlds, it will just have auto attack and no other skills. First tech demo test this Wednesday, 85% chance. That's tomorrow. The tech demo is an important step in our goal of finishing and releasing AQ Worlds Infinity, but it should be stated over and over and over, this is not a finished game, and anything can change, and will change. Also, note the tests will be short, and the servers will only be online for a short while, at least in these early tests. The time to be determined. How many players can the tech demo server support? We're about to find out. The best outcome, the tech demo is a success if players log in, look at the game and think, hey, this is a good start, keep going. If the bones of the good game are there, then we are on the right path. Then immediately start coming up with a list of all the things that need tweaked, adding and improvement. It does not matter if we have been creating this for six, 12 or six, two years. We are going to keep going until it is finally finished. Your great, great grandchildren are gonna love it. <laughs> so there we go. That is the news we got on this. It is going to be awesome. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to it? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.